Too many times, we know exactly what to do. We even know where to go and when to start. The issue is usually how. How do I just rise up, summon up courage, and start this journey into God's phase for my life? Let's face it, dreaming is easy. Walking up with pictures of the great things God has put in our hearts, imagining how much those ideas will be a blessing to someone out there, and fantasizing about how it will be a much-needed improvement to what is already in existence. That is the easiest part of when we choose to read the great things God has put in our hearts. However, courage in the face of naysayers, boldness despite your feelings of inadequacies, and determination when fear of the unknown hits you deep in the gut is what we really need. Courage is the ability to go ahead and do the right thing even if it frightens you. When you have the moral, mental, and spiritual strength to persevere, withstand, and venture into bigger possibilities, despite difficulties or danger, then you are courageous. God speaking through scriptures says in Joshua 1.7, Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Joshua 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you, be strong, be courageous? Do not be terrified, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you may go. Isn't it reassuring that God says don't be terrified or discouraged? It definitely shows that God knows we will be faced with the temptation to be terrified or discouraged, especially when we are supposed to move into territories that are not familiar. Most times the devil will put things in front of us to discourage us from moving further. However, if we are weighted down, fearful, and bothered at the time when we should be moving into the fullness of the dreams we carry in our heart, then the devil's aim has been achieved. Numbers 32, 9 For when they went up unto the valley of Eshcol and saw the land, they discouraged the heart of the children of Israel that they should not go into the land which the Lord had given them. The funny thing is, the very enemies they were afraid of in the above verse were also afraid of them. So if they had confronted the adversary the first time, they would have won without a fight. Joshua 2.11 And as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man, because of you. For the Lord your God, he is a God in heaven above and in earth beneath. Our confidence to step in to do the assignment before us must not come just from the fact that we are talented, gifted, or skilled, but as a priority that courage must come from trusting the one who gave the assignment. Our Father has promised to be with us wherever we go and when we trust in his reassuring words we can face the giants in our promised land. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. It's such a beautiful promise our God has given to never fail or forsake us even when we are walking through a path we have never walked in. Yes, there are giants in every man's promised, but those giants shouldn't stop us. They can attempt to scare us, but we shouldn't let them, because when we slay those giants, the way David slew Goliath, then there's a crown after the battle. God promises that there is glory for those that refuse to retreat. Rather, they run towards the giant with courage, and use the obstacle as a climbing stone to the next phase of their lives. 1 Chronicles 22.13 Then shalt thou prosper, if thou takest heed to fulfill the statutes and judgments which the Lord charged Moses with concerning Israel. Be strong and of good courage, 
Dread not, nor be dismayed. Courage is such an essential attitude we must have, if we must win, and make the most of the journey ahead of us. This is because there will always be discouraging issues and circumstances every time we attempt to go further than where we are presently. Courage isn't just crucial when we are starting out on new projects or goals. We definitely need courage for these days. When people are choosing to live in lies and hypocrisy, even though they can see that the fruits of an immoral life is vain, it takes courage to live in truth, the way God wants us to, having strong convictions and standing by them till the end. It definitely takes great courage to stand for God's word in a world where people equate numbers with normalcy. Joshua 23, 6 Be ye therefore very courageous, to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left. So how do we become courageous people? Where do we find the inner strength to do what needs to be done, even if fear is staring us in the face? Number 1. Pray for Courage Every time there is a new project or you have to confront someone with the truth and you are tempted to turn back, remember to draw strength from the God who has promised to always be with you. If there's one person that wants us to lean on him when we feel all weak on the inside, it is definitely our Maker. Isaiah 40, 28 Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard? that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might be increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Number 2. Avoid words that discourage. There may be time when you feel so pumped up and ready to hit the ground running, but then you run into those that, with just one word, they can make you not just hesitant to pursue your dreams, but also make you too afraid to even attempt trying in the future. It was this exact scenario that took place with the ten spies that came back with Caleb and Joshua. By the time they finished with their sob story, the Israelites rejected the whole idea of a promised land. They even stated blaming Moses for bringing them out of slavery. Deuteronomy 1.28 Whither shall we go up? Our brethren have discouraged our heart, saying, The people is greater and taller than we. The cities are great and walled up to heaven. And moreover, we have seen the sons of Amakins there. Number 3. Stay around courageous and faith-filled people. The Bible tells us that the more we hear words of faith, the more we grow in faith. And those who we relate with can sharpen us to become faith-filled also. Joshua was one of the few Israelites who believed the promise of a land flowing with milk and honey, despite the giants and limitations he saw, when they went out to spy. But he chose to believe that they were well able to conquer, because God had given them his word. Ministering to Moses regularly and being with him often had definitely helped him to believe all God said. He was definitely a man whose company reflected on his attitude of courage. Acts 4, 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them, that they had been with Jesus. Proverbs 27, 17. Iron sharpeth iron, so a man sharpeth the countenance of his friend. Romans 10, 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Let us pray. Father, I am grateful for this courageous life that you have called me into. I thank you for being willing and ready to supply me with the inner strength I need to face the giants in every territory you have ordained for me to walk in. Father, 
Thank you for your love that has draws me into your presence to draw the strength I need at every point. And so today, Abba, I ask for courage that is divine. I ask for boldness that is beyond what anything or anyone can give me. Ephesians 3.12 In whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. I need your courage because on my own I will fall, on my own I will fail, and on my own I will definitely falter on every new path you choose. Jesus, just like you, had the courage to face the cross, even when it wasn't easy. In the same way, I draw strength from you to face this new project. Mark 14, 34 And saith unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. Tarry ye here and watch. And he went forward a little and fell on the ground, and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what thou wilt. Father, most times my spirit is willing to obey and do your will. However, I have noticed that my flesh is not always as willing. I remember that you said to the disciples in Mark 14, 38, Watch ye and pray lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. So I ask from the depth of my heart that you will supply me with the strength from on high to do your will at all times, even when things look really bleak. Please help me through your precious Holy Spirit to never give in to the temptation to choose the easy way out instead of sticking to what is of utmost importance to you. Help me to always have the courage to choose what is right over what is convenient or comfortable. Acts 4, 29 And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. Acts 4, 31 And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. Lord, you have led me to the specific path, and even though there seems to be limitations everywhere, you have told me not to be terrified or afraid of anything. Therefore, I will not miss out on all of your purpose. You have assured me that you are always with me and won't forsake me despite the giants that are staring straight at me. So by your strength, I refuse to back down or be dismayed. I come against every scheme of the devil put in place to blind my eyes to all of my blessings down the road by making me unnecessarily on the noise of the obstacles. I refuse worry, fear, trepidation, anxiety, dismay, and discouragement in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that because the one who commanded me to move forward is with me, I will never be discouraged, even if everyone around me wants me to give up. I am full of courage, and my life is full of exploits in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.